New details now at six. Two businesses smashed two gaping holes in their storefronts. One goal to grab the ATMs inside. These overnight attacks are the latest in a series of smash and grabs across our area. And now police are trying to stop them. Derek Waller live at the site of one of today's robberies, the Church Square Pharmacy at East 79th and Euclid. And Derek, are these crimes connected? Chris, they are very similar, but so far, no official word from police that connects the two. Right now, here at Church Square Pharmacy, some crews are working very hard, very fast to try and clear, cover up this gaping hole that was left after someone rammed a, a minivan in the front, stole the, stole the ATM inside. A similar crime happened up the street at Angela Mia's Pizza, but that was less successful. It's the sound of a business getting back to business. Surveillance video shows a driver of this minivan plowing into the front of Angela Mia's Pizza three times. But the crooks gave up, leaving the stolen van and the ATM they were likely after behind. Today, customers flock to the East Cleveland staple. Well, Angela Mia has been here for a very long time and supported East Cleveland for a very long time. So I figured I'd come down today and get a pizza. That attempted grand larceny happened around 4 a.m. at the Euclid business. Only a half hour later, thieves struck again at another business along Euclid, the Church Square Pharmacy. Crooks got away with the ATM and left this mess to clean up. We'll replace that brick at the bottom, and then we'll just use a two by six uh, wood frame and put a temporary door there for the store to still have access and stay open. And these follow a string of other smashing grabs prosecutors thought they put a stop to. In January, Cleveland police arrested these three men following the same type of crime at this Superior Avenue Rite Aid. But they're still happening. It's usually the same group of guys. ATM security expert Nicholas Billet with North Canton based Diebold tells me the targets are usually easy to spot. If you're going to put an ATM, obviously, in, a, in the front of the store near a glass window, that would be considered to be a fairly high risk deployment. And right now, these construction workers are working on finishing up that makeshift door there. Billet recommends uh, businesses get their ATM away from the front door, away from windows, put it in the back of the store that makes it harder to take away, and also bolt it to the ground. Now, as for these uh, two crimes overnight, police have not released or have not announced any suspects. Live in Cleveland, Derek Waller, News Channel 5.